I was told I shouldn't say something slays. I should say that something slaps. But ideally, I shouldn't say either. <laughs> I should say something is nice. I liked it. A lot of complaints that I only corrected one thing last week about lead and the pencils. Uh, someone accused us of false advertising, when clearly this is a case of no advertising. Well, I think, you know, yeah, it started as corrections, but we've evolved and we've kept the name. You know, it's like how Meet the Press was called that because the press had never met any of the politicians, and they've all met now. But they haven't changed the name to, oh, you again? <laughs> we showed a shot of uh, Rudy Giuliani's empty brain, called it an x-ray. That would have been a CT scan, because uh, an x-ray wouldn't get through the skull. They kind of famously see bones. Easy way to remember, CT scans are for brains, X-rays are for bones, triple X-rays are for boners. Faves. And I didn't get it at first, but it was clever, bud. <clears throat> Somebody sent an ice tray that um, made little, um, <laughs> someone wrote in and said last week, um, I spoiled the end of American Beauty. I didn't. Spoil the end of American Beauty. I spoiled the end of The Usual Suspects. <laughs> if anybody spoiled the end of American Beauty, it was Chris Cooper when he shot Kevin Spacey. <laughs> Remember, we thought he was the bad guy then, but now... That's, that movie's got a real Usual Suspects ending now. In You Burnt, we had a picture of a bed bug wearing a bowling shirt, and a bunch of you said the bed bug was wearing it backwards. True, but it's, they're so hard to get on in the first place. <laughs> there was a joke about people who believe in astrology in um, You Burnt. And there was a joke that, like, Hey, ladies, if he was born on November 20th, you, you're love of your life. If he's born on November 21st, he's going to cheat on you. And a bunch of you pointed out that um, those were bad dates to pick because both of those days are Scorpios. But if we'd done November 21st and November 22nd, that would have been a better way to do it because one of those was a Scorpio and, and one of those is a Sagittarius. Um, the Burn Boys, <laughs> there's three of them. They work on this. All born, all they share the same birthday. <laughs> Triplets. <clears throat> I know this because Shoemaker went to the orphanage and just wanted one of them, and they were like. <laughs> I don't know which one of the three one. Ben. So we got all three of them born on the same day, and um, their uh, star sign is uh, Slothicus. based uh, on a constellation of uh, the qualities of uh, the astrological sign Slothicus, uh, inattention to detail, disinterest in checking their work. <laughs> Favorite food of a Slothicus? <laughs> Baby Ruth, or as they say, but I'm not going to do it. All right, where are we? Uh, last Thursday, we showed a parrot. It was actually a picture of a scarlet macaw, which means it's time for Animal Flub's Parrot Edition. 
Parrot means to repeat. Get it? <sighs> Everybody is now getting sensitive with me because I have become sensitive with them criticizing the podcast plug. And someone said, the reason why people, he's speaking for everyone, the reason why people are put off by your podcast announcement at the end of each show is because it takes the place of the charity you used to promote during COVID. Try bringing back the charity and promoting your podcast. Okay. Hey everyone, are you familiar with Big Brothers and Big Sisters of America? I am because I'm a big brother and I do a podcast with my little brother. <laughs> Give it a listen and then if you want to donate to Big Brothers and Big Sisters, I'm sure you could Google it. <laughs> and they'll have a link to donate. Did a whole closer look about how Fox News is saying Joe Biden must have been on something and how they kept, John Hannity kept calling him Jacked Up Joe. Jacked Up Joe Jack. And the thing is, I don't watch the clips before a closer look anymore. I used to. When I just stopped. <laughs> and then sometimes I'll just see a clip, but it's too late to make a joke about it because I haven't watched it in advance, uh, which brings us to a new segment called Missed Opportunities. So we showed a clip of Jesse Waters complaining about Joe Biden, also sort of inferring that he thought he was on drugs. And I will say, when I said inferring, my butthole clenched, not knowing if that's the right word. <laughs> anyway, it had followed this long montage of Sean Handy saying jacked up Joe. And then in the clip, I noticed, too late to say anything about it, that Jesse Waters uh, did something. So uh, this was the missed opportunity. Let's see the clip, and then I'll tell you what I would have said. All of a sudden, this guy is like, more jet like jacked off. <laughs> this has been missed opportunities. We did a bit about Rupert Murdoch announcing next year's Oscars, the winner, and I uh, had him announce Oppenheimer, and a bunch of you said, well, he wouldn't announce Oppenheimer next year because Oppenheimer won this year. But I bet Rupert Murdoch wouldn't care about your rules. you are like, oh, that was nothing better this year. <laughs> to be the king, you gotta be the king. It's Oppenheimer, for me. I care about your rules. That's not a slice of Pizza Hut. <laughs> I joked that I had a two hour Lost explainer online about the ending of Lost and one he wrote in, you should call it a cloister lock. That was sent in by an Alex from Arizona. Oh. <laughs> Bunchy said, hey, if Zoe and Michael got married, why weren't you at the wedding? Were you not invited? I, unfortunately, had another wedding to attend to. Every week, my wife and I renew our own vows. <laughs> You're pretty short now. One could even say terse. It ends with one of us going, I do, and the other one's like, well, congratulations, I do too. 
I said we're going to play the sea captain lines last week all at once. And then what we did, I was told, was not all at once. It was sequentially. So here you go. Here's the sea captain lines all at once. Uh, your way was better. <laughs> Someone last week said your wig looks bad in the back. <laughs> this is not a wig. I'll prove it. Would I have been able to pull it that hard? Uh, da, 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 da. Um, I said a PPE loan. I should have said PPP. PPP is Payment Protection Program. PPE is Personal Protective Equipment. And OPP is Other People's. <laughs> Looks like everyone here was just. He's never sent in this many. <laughs> hey, um, you know, coming up next week's 100, obviously. We're trying very hard to get all the other ones, the old ones up. Some have been down. And uh, we're only now 40, 43, and 54. We're working on getting those back up. That's sort of exciting news. Hey, somebody wrote in, my daughter Kaylee loves your best case, worst case, and one with bees, and always asks for the bees. She can quote much of it from memory. The only thing she loves more is jewels. Don't know how to tell you, your daughter Kaylee's a Jermaine head. <laughs> She's a Jermaine head. She loves, she loves the Jermaine stuff. Had a sketch called Celebrity Baby Teeth by Jermaine. We decided not to do, but I think Kaylee would have loved it. Somebody sent in um, this. It's a Lego Wally. <laughs> and uh, Wally, if you want it, it's uh, not going to be cheap. Kenny's already made me a pretty solid offer. <laughs> <clears throat> Said he wants to do stuff with it. Someone, uh, speaking of, of uh, Lego, someone made a, uh, sent in a photo of a joke Seth can't tell. Like I said, they made. And uh, someone, uh, the person who made it, Jen, wrote, now that I printed out the photo, I realized the pencil in the mug looks like something else. Well, I would only say if it looks like what you think it looks like. Shouldn't have put it that close to Jenny. <laughs> Just mentioned a couple of Lego stories. Crossword. <clears throat> 52 down. Tiny building blocks. The answer, five letters. You know what that means? The answer is Legos. You f***ed up. <laughs> Whoever made this f***ed up. And now they're in for it. I mean, we've heard firsthand, we've seen firsthand how awful the Lego community can be. Whoever did this f***ed up. Now, I'm not saying whoever edited this should be scared, but when the Lego people show up at your house, you will crap your shorts. Bays. <laughs> That's uh, 99. You know what that reminds me of? Um, our friend Andy Samber, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. See if he's around.
feels like it should have stopped by now. <laughs> like, what kind of psychopath lets it ring this long? Um, we got a hiatus, and then we come back, and then we have our hundredth one of these, which is uh, what a trip, what a journey it's been. Um, so that's going to be a little bit of a break. Thanks for watching, and see me in two weeks.